everyone, Amanda here. Today we're going to be doing a knee-friendly workout and we're going to be using a towel. So we'll do a mix of towel exercises and body weight exercises. So we're going to start out with our warm-up, starting off with that side-to-side -side reach, stretching through the back of the shoulder blade and the mid-back. Nice and easy here, just tapping that toe side to side, breathing through it. Next, let's take this into an overhead reach. So we're going to reach up and over, pressing the palm up toward the ceiling, stretching through that upper back. Keep that toe moving. Two more here, and then let's take it into a side reach overhead reach. Let's go eight to the right, side, overhead, side, overhead. We're gonna keep working through that range of motion for the upper back. Two more here, over one more, and over to the other side. Let's go left arm, breathe through it, stretch it out. You got it. Keep this going, nice big stretch overhead. Two more. One more, and let's take this into a twist. Warming up through the back, the lower back, and the core. Twisting through the abs, slight bend in the knees, lift through that chest. And finally, let's take this into a chest opener. So we're gonna tap that toe and pull the arms back, opening up the chest here, breathing through it. So for our first towel exercise, we're going to be doing a behind the back pull. And I would recommend using a beach towel for this. Having a bit of extra length in the towel is very helpful for adjusting your grip. So grab an old beach towel. We're gonna to start with our first exercise. So with this one, we're gonna scrunch up the towel in a lengthened position. Place the towel behind your back with your palms facing out behind you. Feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, and then set your shoulder blades back. From here, we're gonna pull, raising the arms, and then lower them down. On that pull, we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together. Ready? Here we go, let's go for eight. Pull, and down. So you're gonna feel the lower and middle traps doing the work here in the mid-back. Exhale up, inhale down. Nice and easy here. Six, two more. Seven, one more here, and eight. All right, let's lower this down. We're gonna take this into a bent over X. So feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with our fingertips together, back flat. We're gonna go out into an X position, lower down, and then switch in that X. Let's go for eight here, ready? Here we go. One, pause at the top, switch sides. Two, pause at the top. Really getting that squeeze through the shoulder blades here. We're still getting warmed up, but I want you to get that squeeze at the top, breathing through this. Two more here, two and one. We're gonna take this into a palm up shoulder rotation. So my arms are gonna be in a T, but we're gonna flip one palm up. Feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees. From here, we're gonna drive the shoulder forward and the other one back, and then switch, flip it over. Ready? Here we go for eight, eight. Seven, full range of motion here. Six, really driving that shoulder forward and back. Breathe through this. Two more, two and one. To target our legs, we're gonna go into a calf press, give our upper body a little bit of a break. From here, we're gonna turn our toes inward with feet shoulder width apart, hands on the hips, and we're gonna take this into a calf press for 15. Here we go, one, two, Three, squeezing that lower leg. Keep the pace up. Just a slight bend in the knees here. 10 down, five more. Two, three, four, and five. Let's take it back to the top. Grab that beach towel. We're gonna go into behind the back raises. So stretch the towel out. Palms are facing up away from you. Slight bend in the knees. Set your shoulder blades back. And let's go for eight raises. Here we go. Eight, getting that squeeze. Seven, brace the core, lift the chest. Six, abs are in here. 
five. Now because the elbow's extended, you might feel a little bit of the tricep working here as well, but we really want to focus on that squeeze in the mid back. Two more, two, one more here, one. Let's lower it down, back to our X's. Feet, shoulder width apart. Place the fingertips together, bend forward. Let's make eight X's, here we go. Eight, pause at the top, switch directions. Seven, chest is out, back is flat. Six, really focusing on the back of the shoulders as you lift. Pause to get that squeeze. Two more, exhale on the lift up, inhale on the lower, one left and lower it down. Palm up, shoulder rotations. Let's make that T, flip one palm up, set your shoulder blades back, slight bend in the knees. Let's drive the shoulder forward. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, breathe through. Five, you got it. Four, focusing on upper body. Three, two, and one. Calf press, give those shoulders a break. Turn those toes inward. Hands on the hips, slight bend in the knees. Let's go into 15 presses. One, two, three, four. Squeezing the lower leg. Keep this up. You can do it. Breathe through it. 10 down, five to go. Two, three, four, and five. One more round. Back to the towel. Behind the back raises. So feet are shoulder width apart. Set your shoulder blades back, pull that towel top. Here we go for eight, eight. So we wanna keep tension on the towel as we're doing that lift. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep the neck in a neutral position. It might feel like your neck wants to bob forward here, but we want to keep the chin parallel to the floor and the head back aligned with the rest of the spine. One more here and Lower the towel down. Let's take it back to a round of X's. Feet shoulder width apart. Bring those fingertips together. Back flat, chest out. Here we go. Eight. Pause to get that squeeze. Seven. Lift up nice and high. Six. Exhale on the way up. Five. Inhale on the way down. You got this. Four. Keep it going. Three. Really working the back of the shoulder. Two. One more here. One, palm up, shoulder rotation, slight bend in the knees, make a T, set your shoulders back, flip one palm up, here we go. Eight, drive that shoulder forward, seven, six, work through the range of motion here, you can do it. Breathe through, three, two, and one. To finish off, calf press, turn those toes in, place your hands on your hips, Set the shoulder blades back, slight bend in the knees. Here we go. One, two, three. Squeezing the lower leg here. You got this. Keep it going. Push through this. 10 down, five more. Two, three, four, and five. All right, grab a water break here. Catch your breath. We're gonna go into our next round of exercises. So we're starting each round with that towel exercise. So, our next towel exercise is a standing row. So with this one, we're gonna have our hands just wider than shoulder width in an overhand grip, feet shoulder width apart, set the shoulder blades back, and start with the uh, towel out at chest height. From here, we're gonna pull in, and on that pull, you're pulling and squeezing your shoulder blades back in together. Then, if you need a break, ease up on the tension on the way back out. All right, slight bend in the knees, set your shoulder blades back, pull your abs in. Let's go for eight. Here we go, pull that towel taut, eight. That's it, really get the tension on the towel, seven. Slow and controlled pulls, six. You can loosen up on the way back out, five. Lots of tension on that towel, you can do it, four. Grip strength is gonna work hard here, two. Three, you got this, two. One more, and one, and let's lower that towel down. We're gonna take this into a bodyweight deadlift. Feet shoulder width apart, just a slight bend in the knees. We're gonna start with our hands on top of our thighs and then pull the shoulder blades back, lift through the chest. From here, we're gonna slide down so the fingertips are always connected to the legs. 
Bring the fingertips down to the mid shin and then hinge back up. Ready? Here we go. Push the bum back. Keep your chest out so your back is flat. Get that stretch in the hamstring. Back up. Slow down, sliding the fingertips and then back up. Really exaggerate your chest out and your bum lifted and press your heels into the floor. That's really gonna help you to keep the back flat and to target the hamstrings and glutes. Back up, three more here. Slow on the downward movement and then exhale, back up. Two more, press the heels into the floor, push the chest out, back up. One more here, slow on the lowering and back up. We're gonna take this into a bent over torso twist. So once again, feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to stack our forearms one on top of the other, pull the shoulder blades back, and from here we're going to twist to the side. It's just a gentle motion, back to center, and then twist to the side. So we're gonna feel those obliques and lower back working. So fold forward, back flat, ready? Let's twist to the right, here we go. Right, center, left, center. That's it, let's go for eight, right, really working the core here. I want you to pull those abs in left. It's a small movement, not much of a twist because we want to keep those hips facing forward as well as the knees. Two more. You're going to feel a little bit through the back and the back of the shoulder blade as well. One more here and back in. Let's give our lower back a break by doing a press out. So we're going to stay standing here. Be shoulder width apart, place our palms together, set the shoulder blades back. We're going to create tension by pushing our palms together push out and then pull in. Let's go for eight. Ready? Set those shoulder blades back. Here we go. Eight. Press those palms together. You really want that tension on. Just a slight bend in the knees. That's going to help you to lift through the chest and to keep the core engaged. Breathe through it. Abs are in. Pull. Push. Pull. Keep pressing those palms together. You got this. Two more. Push. Pull, push, and pull. All right, shake it out. We're gonna go back to the top, grab that towel. So, once again, overhand grip, just slightly wider than shoulder width. Slight bend in the knees. Start with your arms extended out, set your shoulder blades back. Pull the towel top, let's row in. Here we go. Eight, really squeezing through the mid back and shoulders. Seven, you can loosen up your grip on the way back out. Six, Strong pulls here. Five, you should be shaking a little bit on that pull. Four, exhale on the pull, inhale as you release. Three, keep this up, you got it. Two, push through, push through. One, back out. All right, let's lower it down. We're back to our deadlifts. Feet are shoulder width apart. Place your fingers just on top of your thighs. Set your shoulder blades back, just a slight bend in the knees. And let's slide forward down the front of the leg. Here we go. Press the heels into the floor. Push the chest out. Get the stretch in the hamstring. Back up. Press the heels into the floor. Push the chest out. Back up. So it's a slow down. It's like a one, one thousand, two, one thousand, one. You got it. Lower down nice and slow. And up. Push that bum back. You're pressing your chest out. Really targeting those hamstrings here. Breathe through. We've got two more. Slide down nice and slow. Pop back up. There's one more. Slide down nice and slow. And pop back up. Bent over torso twist. So once again, feet shoulder width apart. Stack your forearms. Fold forward. And let's twist eight to the right and left. Ready? Let's go right, center, left. It's not a big twist just enough that you feel your lower back and your obliques kicking in here. This should feel nice and easy and it shouldn't feel like there's any pain here through the lower back. Two more, right, one more, left, and back up. We're gonna take this to our press out. Feet your shoulder width apart, press those palms together, set your shoulder blades back, slight bend in the knees, Tension on through the palms. Ready? Push. Pull. Push. Pull. You got this. Push. Pull. Keep that tension on the pecs. 
I want you to keep pressing together through the entire movement. You got this. There's three more. Push, pull, you can do it. Push, pull, one more. Push, don't forget to breathe, and in. All right, shake it out. One more round. So we're back to the top. Grab that towel, standing rows. So just wider than shoulder width, slight bend in the knees, overhand grip, set your shoulders back, pull that towel taut, let's row in. Here we go. Eight, really squeezing through that mid back. Seven, shaking a little bit on that pull, keep the tension on. You can do it. Exhale, inhale, pull back, pause, release. Three more, pull, pause, release. Two left, pull, and release. One more, pull, and release. Lower it down, let's take it back to our deadlift. Feet are shoulder width apart. Place your fingertips on top of the thighs. Set your shoulder blades back and down. Let's slide forward, here we go. Slide the fingertips down the front of the legs and then pop back up. Push the chest out, driving the heels into the floor. Pop back up. Pressing your heels into the floor is really gonna target those hamstrings and glutes. So we wanna make sure that our weight is shifted back on our foot rather than on our toes. Breathe through this, exhale up. And then slowly inhale as you lower. Two more. Slide down, chest out, and up. One more here, squeezing through the glutes, and up. All right, let's take this into our bent over torso twist. Feet shoulder width apart, stack your forearms, pull the elbows back, and from here, twist to the side. Eight, to the left, seven. Pull your abs in, try to get that belly button pulled in here. That's going to help you to brace the core through this twisting movement but we are working the lower back here. So that's the focus of this exercise, but the obliques are moving through that twisting motion. One more over on the other side. And up to standing, press outs, one more set. Place your palms together, set your shoulder blades back, slight bend in the knees, here we go. Push, pull, push, and pull, keep that tension on. It's all about that press. The palms are together, that's gonna help to keep the tension in the pecs all through that chest. You can do it. Breathe through. Tension on, two more. Exhale, inhale, one more. Exhale, inhale, and shake it out. Great job, grab some water here, catch a breather. We're gonna go back to the top, this time, towel bicep curls. So, with our towel, we're gonna have an underhand grip. And with this, we're gonna be just outside the body. So this allows me to keep my elbow in, nice and tight to my sides, with a neutral wrist. So, set your shoulder blades back, slight bend in your knees, pull your abs in, lift the chest, and we're going to curl, squeeze at the top, and then lower down. And just like our rows, on that lowering phase, if you need to loosen your grip, you can take a breath there. So, shoulder blades back, ready? Let's curl for eight, towel is taut. Pull to the side as you curl, and down. Loosen up there if you need to. Pull, curl to the side, and down. So you're pulling outward and upward at the same time. You got it. Let's go for eight. That's four, and down. Five, keep that chest lifted. Try to make sure that your shoulders are not creeping forward on this lift. We've got two more. Pull, down, keep that chest lifted. Pull, and down. Give those biceps a break, set the towel aside. We're gonna go into a tin man. So for this one, we're gonna extend our arms out, set the shoulder blades back, and from here, we're gonna kick the leg up. Now it doesn't have to touch your arms, just come close, we wanna get that stretch in the hamstring. So set your shoulder blades back, slight bend in the knees, alternating for eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, kick the heel out. So you're pressing the heel out on that kick. Once again, it's going to target those hamstrings. Breathe through this. Two more here. And rest. We're gonna take this into 
and underhand bent over row. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to flip our hands to an underhand grip, set the shoulder blades back, and from here, we're going to pull into a W and then lower down. We're going to get those elbows up nice and high and we're going to pull, but the elbows are going to move at a 45 degree angle down from my torso. All right, let's fold forward. Ready? Let's go for eight. Here we go. Eight. Pause to get that squeeze. Seven. Squeezing through the mid back. Six. Keep this up. Five. You got it. Four. Push through here. Three. Almost there. Two. One more. One. And down. We're going to take this into a shoulder rotation. We're going to place our fingertips just on top of the clavicle. Lift our elbows up so the upper arm is parallel to the floor, a slight bend in the knees. And we're going to open up the chest, pulling the shoulder blades back, and then squeezing our shoulder blades back and together. Ready? Lift those elbows up high. Here we go. Eight. Back in. Seven. Breathe through this. Six. Opening up that chest. Pulling the shoulder blades back, pausing to squeeze, and then release. Three. You can do this. Two. One more here. One. All right, let's shake it out. We're going to go back to the top, grab that towel. Towel bicep curls. So palms are up, elbows are in tight to the torso. Set your shoulder blades back, lift the chest. Ready? Pull that towel taut, let's curl. Here we go eight and down so once again you can stop pulling so much on the towel on that outward movement on the way down that's going to give you a little bit of a break but if you want to keep the tension on to keep the intensity higher you can do that <sighs> exhale on the way up really squeezing at the top three keep pulling outward you can do it two one more here and one all right let's lower this down tin man Feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, arms extended out, but set the shoulder blades back. Let's kick up for eight. Here we go. Eight. Nice big stretch. Seven. Heel is out. Six. Breathe through. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's take it to our underhand rows. Feet are shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees, fold forward. Palms are up, set the shoulder blades back. Ready? Here we go. Eight. Pausing to get that squeeze in the mid back. Seven. Really get that pull. Push your chest out. Breathe through this. Lift those elbows up as high as you can to retract the shoulder blades. Three more. Abs are in. Three. And down. Two. One more here. One. And release. Let's take it to our shoulder rotations. Place your fingertips on top of the clavicle. Slight bend in your knees. Lift those elbows up so the upper arms parallel to the floor. Set the head back. Ready? Let's rotate out. Here we go. Eight. Getting that squeeze through the tops of the shoulder blades and the back of the shoulder blades here. You got it. Four. Abs in. Chest is tall. Five. Keep this up. Six, strong pulls here. Seven, one more, and eight. All right, shake it out. We're back at the top. Bicep curls, grab your towel. So tension on, palms up, elbows in tight, set the shoulder blades back. Here we go. Pull and squeeze. Eight, breathe through this. Seven, tension on, you can do it. Six, breathe through, five, really get that pull, you can do this, four, squeeze it up, squeeze it up, three, two, one more, abs are in tight, and one, lower this down, tin man, one more set of this, feet shoulder width apart, arms out, but set your shoulder blades back, here we go, kick it up, eight, Seven, six, get that big stretch of the hamstrings here. Three, two, one, bent over, underhand rows, feet shoulder width apart, palms up, 
set your shoulder blades back. Here we go. Eight. Breathe through this. Seven. Keep your chest pushed out so the back is in a flat position and the bum is back. Get that squeeze in the mid back. You can do it. Four. Lower down. Three. Squeeze it up. Two. One more here. And one. Lower those arms down. One more. Shoulder rotation. Feet shoulder width apart. Fingertips on the clavicle. Lift those elbows up parallel to the floor. Here we go. Eight. Really targeting the back of the shoulder blade here. Prevent your elbows from dropping down. We want to keep that upper arm parallel to the floor and keep the chest lifted. Exhale. Inhale. Three more. Three. Release. Two. One more here. Abs in. One. And lower it down. Shake it out. Grab a water break here. One more round. Catch your breath. So we're gonna take this into an overhead pull. So for this one, standing nice and tall with our feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna start out in front of our chest. We're gonna pull up and back. And when we pull up and back, we're gonna bring it next to, our upper arms next to the ears. So brace through your core, abs in. I'm just gonna to move to where my ceiling's a little higher here. Set your shoulder blades back, lift your chest, start at chest height, ready? Pull the towel taut, bring it up next to the ears. Now, you might notice that your grip might be a little bit too narrow. If you're having trouble bringing your arms back next to your ears, I want you to just widen that grip a little bit. Breathe through this. Keep the chin in a neutral position. We don't want that head bobbing forward. Exhale, pull. And inhale, lower. You got it. Two to go here. Two, one more, and one. All right, lower it down. So let's shake it out. We're gonna go into another shoulder exercise here, double jacks. So with this one, we're going to do 12 reps because we're going to move to the side six times. Slight bend of the knees, palms up. We're gonna step, step, switch, step, step. Now I am slightly squatting down. My ceilings are a little low. You can stay more upright if that's comfortable for your knees. So we're gonna start with two, to the right, palms up, set the shoulder blades back. Here we go. One, two, other side, three, four. Really squeezing the shoulders. This one is all about that squeeze on the way up. You can do it. Two more and shake it out. So up next, we're gonna go into a core twist just to give our shoulders and upper body a break. We're gonna stand nice and wide. I like to squat down a little bit for this. But again, if you need to stay more upright, that's okay. We're gonna tuck in nice and close, but set the shoulder blades back. Brace your core like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. And we're gonna twist for 20 seconds. Ready? Let's go. 20 seconds on the clock here. Twisting side to side. Make sure that you're breathing through this. But I want you to brace your core like someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. Keep bracing, working the core here. Breathe through it. Three seconds to go. Three, two, one. Another standing core exercise. We're gonna stand with our feet shoulder width apart. From here, we're gonna place our right arm with our fingertips just behind our right ear. And we're going to crunch down in a side bend and then back up. Now, if you have a dumbbell at home, you can also do this to the same side with that you have the dumbbell on. So. Set the shoulder blades back. Let's crunch down to the side of my arm. Ready? Here we go. Eight. Back up. Seven. Breathe through. Six. Targeting those obliques. Five. Crunching the sides here. Four. Three. Keep this going. Two. One more. One. Take it over to the other side. Lift the chest and set that elbow back. Pull the shoulder blade back. Let's crunch down for eight. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. You got it. Five. Squeeze the core here. Four. Keep this going. Three, two, 
and one. Shake it out, let's take it back to the top. Grab your towel here. We've got our overhead pulls. So feet shoulder width apart. Start with your arms out at chest height. Set your shoulder blades back and let's lift up, raising up next to the ears. Here we go. Eight, get that pull back. So when you come up next to the ears, depending on your range of motion, just gently pull back slightly so it feels like there's a little bit of tension on. We're just gently pushing that range of motion here. Halfway. Five. Exhale the way up. Six. Two to go. Seven. One more here. And eight. All right, let's lower this down. Double jacks. So once again, we're gonna start with two to the right. Palms up, slightly bending in the knees, set your shoulder blades back. Here we go. One, two, get that shoulder squeeze here. That's what it's all about. Keep it up. Seven, eight, pulling those shoulder blades up and back. And 12. All right, shake it out. Let's go back to our core twist here. Nice and wide. Tuck those elbows in, but set your shoulder blades back. Let's go for 20 seconds. Here we go, twisting, bracing through those abs. So I want you to imagine someone's gonna punch you in the stomach. You're bracing for that punch. Keep the core engaged. We really wanna work those obliques here. Five seconds to go, you can do it. Two and one, side bends. So feet shoulder width apart, just a slight bend. Place that right hand behind your ear, pull the elbow back, just let the other arm hang down and let's side crunch for eight. Here we go, eight, breathe through it. Seven. It's all about that squeeze as you come down. So this one, if you're not adding that squeeze to it, it might not feel like much. So I really want to make sure that you're getting that squeeze at the bottom. One more here. And switch. Other side. Left hand. Pull the elbow back. Ready? Let's go. Eight. Get that squeeze in the side. Exhale. You're crunching down. You can do it. Four. Three. Keep that elbow back. Prevent it from creeping forward. Two. One more here. One. All right, shake this out. One last round. Grab that towel. Overhead pulls. So pull that towel taut. Overhand grip. Set your shoulder blades back. Start at chest height. Here we go. Eight. Gently pushing that range of motion by pulling back next to the ears and just slightly backward if you can. You can do this, exhale up. Four, tension on that towel, keep pulling outwards. Three, brace the core. Two, one more here. One, all right, let's lower it down. So we're back to our double jacks, starting two to the right. Feet nice and wide, palms up, set your shoulder blades back, slightly squatting. Here we go. One, two, pull the shoulder blades back. It's a strong pull on the way up. Keep this going. Breathe through, two left, and shake it out. So once more, core twists, feet nice and wide, tuck those elbows in, set your shoulder blades back. Let's go for 20 seconds. Here we go. Brace, but I want you to make sure that you're breathing. Sometimes when we're bracing our core, we have a tendency to hold our breath. So I want you to make sure that you're slowly exhaling. Keep this going. Five more seconds, you can do it. Twist and rest. One more side bend, each side, and then we're gonna stretch it out. So place that hand just behind your ear, set the shoulder blades back. Let's crunch down to the right, here we go. Eight, make sure that you're crunching. Seven, this one's up to you. Six, because you can do this movement and not really feel it. So you really have to engage your core on that way down. Three, two, one more here. One, over to the other side. Place that the fingertips behind your ear, pull the elbow back, stand tall. Here we go. Eight, really crunching down, seven, Six, abs are in here, five, you can do it, four, squeeze the core on every rep, two to go, 
two, and one. All right, grab a water break here. We're gonna take you to our stretches, catch a breather, and rehydrate. Whew. All right, let's stretch out the chest to start. So we're gonna clasp our hands behind our backs and then set the shoulder blades back, pulling the elbows back and lifting through that chest. Open up the chest here, stretch it out. And we want to keep the clavicle and the neck gently pressed down. So we don't want our shoulders creeping up in this stretch. Keep that chest nice and open and the shoulder blades relax as much as possible in this position. Now we're going to round our shoulders forward, push our palms out away from us, pressing outward, giving ourselves poor posture on purpose here, stretching through the upper back and the back of the shoulders. And this should feel pretty good after doing that chest stretch. And release, let's stretch out our shoulders, bring the right arm across, anchor it down, pulling that arm in toward the torso, just a slight bend in the knees, lift through the chest, and gently pull in just a little tighter, elongate through that shoulder. And release that side, let's take it over to the other arm. Ooh, some sweat in my eyes here. Pulling that shoulder in nice and tight, breathing through it. Let's release and stretch out our sides. So nice wide stance here. Press the palms up toward the ceiling. And then we're going to lean away from that right side. So we're pressing our right armpit up toward the ceiling and stretching through the lat on that side. Nice and easy. And bring it back up to center. Let's take it over to the other side, leaning over to the right, away from that left side to elongate the left lap. Breathe through it. And back up to center. So now that our heart rate is coming down, we can take this into a hamstring stretch, but I would recommend just moving into it slowly. And if you tend to feel any dizziness in a forward bend, keep your head over your heart. So you're just gently sliding forward, toe is up, heel is down, holding onto the mid shin. Now if you can, you can go deeper into this stretch, dropping your head down further. But to be cautious, you can always keep your head up a little higher here, still getting that stretch in the hamstring. All right, slowly lift back up. We're gonna take it over to the other side. Heel down, toe up, gently slide forward, push the bum back. Once again, you can keep your head above your heart. If you're worried about any dizziness, breathing is slowly returning back to a normal rate here. Might be a bit of a stretch in the glutes here as well. It depends on how tight your hamstrings and glutes feel. And let's slowly lift back up. Lastly, we're going to end with a calf stretch. So I'm going to do this on the wall. So from here, we're going to place the toe against the wall and then bend that forward leg and just gently lean your upper body toward the wall. Stretching out the calves here, nice and easy. Breathing through this, and lean back, and then slowly lower your leg down. We're gonna take it over to the other side. So lean that leg up against the wall, bend the forward leg, and lean your upper body in toward the wall. Nice, easy breathing here. Heart rate not, might not be all the way down, but breathing should be returning to an almost normal rate at this point. And slowly lean back, release the foot, and we're all done for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. See you tomorrow.